Hello, my name is Melanie Hartz, and this is my Media Heroes Project. First, I'll start with a classic, a legend, one who I think pretty much everyone has heard of, Lucille Ball, actress, comedian, entertainer, and entrepreneur. I Love Lucy, best well known as the first sitcom to touch the theme of pregnancy on national television when Lucy gave birth to little Ricky on January 19th, 1953. It was the same day she real life delivered her son, Desi Jr. Lucy, alongside her husband, Desi, created strict demands, which in return rewarded her because in 1960, she was able to buy Desi Lou Productions from Desi Arnaz making her the first woman to run a major television production studio. Talk about woman power. The new generation may think Lucille Ball didn't make her mark in history. However, four Emmys, induction into the Television Hall of Fame, and recognition from the Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts state a separate argument. Lucy made it possible for this generation of women to say, I can own, run, buy, and sell my own production lot if I believe I can. Next up, I have Mara and Salim Brock Akil, producers, directors, writers, and entrepreneurs. Yet another critically acclaimed husband and wife duo, Salim and Mara Brock Akil founded Akil Productions in 2000, which they were named the Hollywood Reporter's Top 50 Networks, making their show Girlfriends one of the longest running sitcoms on television for eight seasons. The Akils had a popular spinoff show, The Game, which recently won an NAACP award for outstanding writing in a comedy series. After this, the couple teamed up with major production company Sony Pictures and Our Story Films to create the film Jumping the Broom. You may also be familiar with the Akils' popular film Sparkle which was written and produced by Mara Brock Akil and directed by her husband, Salim Akil. The Akils are mainly a favorite of mine because I grew up sneaking and watching most of their shows, and I would always mock the actors and think to myself, I could write a sitcom like this, and I could star in it. They helped me to keep the faith that people of color belong in Hollywood just as much as anybody else. Last but not least, I have Tyler Perry, actor, writer, director, motivational speaker, entrepreneur, and innovator. Okay, let's get to it. He's created 17 feature films, 20 stage plays, seven television shows, and written a New York Times bestselling book. Tyler Perry is a production icon who can and has taken the throne next to Oprah as the guru of media, in my opinion. I was most intrigued by Tyler Perry's ambition and drive when he wrote 13 plays his first 13 years in the industry, including Woman Thou Art Loose and I Can Do Bad All By Myself, which starred the popular character Medea. Tyler Perry Studios, which is known as one of the largest in America, is home to the production of over 15 films and almost 800 episodes of Tyler's five television series and has expanded over 330 acres. Tyler Perry Studios has created more than 400 job opportunities to the Atlanta community across Tyler's productions and major feature films and television shows. Tyler Perry, in my opinion, is the epitome of a go-getter. I grew up watching his Medea play series as a young girl in the house with my family. And it wasn't just comedy for our household. It was life lessons and reflections on who we are as people of color and where we come from. Tyler Perry put church, Medea, and a good butt whooping back into many households who were desperately in need of it. And for that, I can admire a man who shaped and molded an entire new generation. I chose these moguls in particular because they have their own media production companies, which created an outlet for other young, aspiring media majors like myself. They also created outlets and lanes and tactics for themselves that are clear messages that we, the new generation, can land the dream job and own the corporation as well.